Hey, this is sexy African cichlids. We're gonna be looking at some colors that have been popping on this uh, 125 gallon aquarium behind me. It's got over 50 plus peacock cichlids in here. A variety of types, colors, just something you want to watch. I'll be going over some updates on some of the from a previous video on how I did the water changes, as well as some, a really action-packed feeding footage of 50 African peacock cichlids eating some artificial crab meat. So you'll want to stay tuned and definitely watch all the colors just popping off the screen because this is going to be a one colorful video. So I'm learning from past experience and what I need to do is not feed uh, before I do my videos because these guys are going crazy and really showing off their colors they're really wanting some food so they're swimming around just waiting for some food to come about now last week I did a water change in this aquarium and it was too too much water taken out at the same time and the, the fish were really stressed this time I only took out around 40 gallons and the fish are doing great. No problems, no fish sucking air at the bottom. They're doing great. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of these fish here and how they're doing. I'm going to slowly pan around and show you all the fish. And they're, they're doing a good job of swimming in front of the camera. Um, let me give you a little pan around. The dragon buds are looking really good. Looking really orange. Some of them are just really looking amazing got the sunset peacock down there looking better than last week look at that dragon blood right there looking good OB peacock looking good plenty of dragon blood just looking really amazing look at that fish right there isn't that an amazing fish So they're doing really good. You see it. None of them are breathing hard like I did from the last uh, water king that I performed on them. Uh, they're doing great. Colorations are looking really good on these fish. Now I appreciate all the questions I've been getting and some of the comments. Uh, if you want me to answer anything about these fish or want me to do a video on any type of uh, subject on the peacocks or fish in general, and just leave it in the comments. That's how I get some of the, my best videos that people really enjoy watching is from viewer requests. Now if you notice, if you haven't watched my previous video, I have plenty of caves in here that disperse the aggression. Now I actually have females in this aquarium and some of them are actually holding. Uh, I can show you one uh, later on if I uh, remember when I'm doing the video to go back to it. But uh, this is not just a total male aquarium, it's actually got females and seems to be doing really well. Now all these fish used to be a few weeks ago in a 75 gallon aquarium and since then their colorations have really improved and the growth rate has really started out. Now what I plan on doing to improve the water quality of this aquarium, it was jam packed with frontosas and unless you just really sift through the sand multiple times, do multiple water changes, it takes a while to kind of really get going. So what I'm going to do is uh, change what I'm feeding these fish and feed them less often but uh, with some good quality artificial crab meat. Now artificial crab meat, you may think, ah, oh, I'm not going to feed my fish that. But I tell you what, majority of the people have tried artificial crab meat for their uh, African cichlids have really enjoyed it, have really seen some dramatic results from their fish as far as uh, breeding uh, patterns, uh, how, how much they hold as far as how big their broods are, the coloration, 
just really improves things. And plus, when you feed pellets of food, there's particles that go in the water and dirty up. With the artificial crab meat, you don't have that problem. So let me go get some artificial crab meat so you actually get to see the pinnacle of this video, which is actually 50 plus peacocks that you see here eating some artificial crab meat. So stay tuned for just a second. Here's a quick look of the artificial crab meat I'm going to be using for this feeding. I've used about five or six different types. Most of them are basically the same. Uh, they really do some good stuff for your fish. So check them out at your local grocery store. So let's begin the feeding. Now I could put a big chunk in there. I'm going to put smaller chunks in there. Look at them go crazy. They're going crazy. Hopefully... Hopefully there won't be any water splashed on the camera. Look at them go crazy. Now this is why you should try artificial crab meat. Now you can tell that the fish definitely like it. Look at them, they're just going nuts. Now you think that piranha are interesting? Yeah, they're okay. But your peacocks can show some really cool behaviors when you get some good food to feed them. Now, when they feed like this, they may stir up the bottom or whatever, but that'll, that'll clear up. And like I said, the artificial crab meat doesn't have particles that's going to decay uh, in your aquarium like uh, pelleted food. It's pretty cheap. It's about two dollars for a pound. You can get it cheaper sometimes on sale. So let's just see if I can get some bigger pieces. See if you can actually see them nibbling on it. Looks like they just keep on taking it off. There we go. Look at them just really going for it. Now when they start to slow down to, you know, not go after the artificial crab meat, that's when you stop putting it in there. Uh, but if there is any left over, you can easily get that out with your, with your net. Now if you look down on the bottom of the aquarium, you do see uh, a lot of debris where they've started up. But look at this guy over here. Look at this guy right over here. Look at him. Yeah, there's two of them with big mouthful. They're not going to give it away. Let's see if this guy gets robbed of his food. He's pretty sure he's gotten it. Let's put a little bit more in there. And just gulp it up. Notice that there's no artificial crab meat on the floor of the aquarium. Just debris from where they stirred up all the mess. Put a little bit more in there. I just want to finish off two sticks. There's a little bit going there. They're going after it. Look at them tear into it. So you get your colors popping with the artificial crab meat. You sure do make your fish happy. You see some activity that you think you'd only see with piranhas. They really love it. Now, I think only maybe one or two people uh, said that they didn't like artificial crab meat, but there might have been some issues with their fish. Normally, at least 90% of all the viewers who've ever tried our fish or crab meat think it's awesome, very amazing. If you've not tried it, I really recommend you try it and check it out. It's something that you really will have uh, use for in the future, and it's just a really nice to have for your fish. Now, I appreciate you watching Sexy African Cichlids. You got to watch 50 plus African Peacock Cichlids eating some artificial crab meat. Thanks again for watching.